Hey everybody, this is Eric with Phone Scoop. Today we're taking a look at the Samsung Gravity T, a new TouchWiz based device for the T-Mobile network. We'll take a quick spin around the hardware before we dive into the software and user interface. We have a sideways slider form factor with a touch screen. Uh, it's a smaller touch screen um, because it's a smaller device and it has a resistive touch display, not capacitive. On the front you'll see a few buttons here. We've got send and end keys and we have a menu key. On the left side we have just a volume toggle and uh, this has good travel and feedback and is very easy to find with your thumb. Definitely like that button. On the, uh, the right side of the device we have a dedicated camera key here. We have a lock and unlock key here and we have a hatch covering the micro USB port here. So those all work well, no problems there. On the back we have a 2 megapixel camera uh, which is a fixed focus camera and uh, lacks a flash. So uh, nothing along the top, nothing along the bottom. You'll notice no uh, 3.5 millimeter headset jack or any headset jack of any kind. In fact, if you want to use the headphones you're going to have to use a micro USB adapter or stereo Bluetooth. Of course it's a slider, opens up sideways to reveal a full QWERTY keyboard and uh, the keyboard is generously spaced. We've got plenty of room here. Um, the keys are a little bit flat for my tastes. Uh, I wish they had more shape and definition. Um, you know, it's, it's hard to tell, your, uh, tell where your thumb is as you uh, move across the keypad and you can uh, see just how flat they are. However, um, it is a four row keyboard which is nice, uh, it doesn't, uh, doesn't feel too squished. We've got directional keys here, we've got a dedicated emoticon key here, and thankfully the period and comma get their own keys as well as dot com and uh, the www is reached uh, just by hitting the alt key. Uh, perhaps the only key I'm disappointed that doesn't have its own separate key is the at symbol which uh, they've packed onto the, uh, the S key there. Uh, the buttons have good travel and feedback, uh, definitely have good travel and feedback, but uh, I do wish that the buttons had a little bit more shape. So that's the, so uh, the hardware. Uh, let's take a look at the software that is running on the Gravity T. The Gravity T is running TouchWiz, which is Samsung's homemade uh, touch user interface. And it has the uh, smart unlocking, so you hit the lock key and you can see uh, you draw different characters here from the unlock screen to go directly to um, certain features. Uh, I've had mixed success with this. We'll try it right now. Draw an M and see if it takes us to messaging. It did. So we use the M to go straight to the uh, messaging uh, application. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. So we'll jump back to the home screen. Anybody familiar with TouchWiz will, will immediately recognize what we're looking at here. Uh, this device offers three customizable home screens, each with a slightly different appearance. And uh, of course we have the widget tray here on the left side. And uh, any of these widgets, for example, can be dragged from the tray out onto the uh, screen for quicker access. So uh, we'll add some widgets. Uh, throw the browser out here and you can see how easy it is to uh, to toss uh, the widgets onto the different home screens. Of course we've got some uh, semi-permanent buttons down here. Uh, we've got the dialer, context, messaging, and the web. If we hit the dialer for example we go straight to the dial pad. Uh, one thing I like for example if we type a number and then hit the message key boom you've automatically uh, Ad addressed that uh, message to that phone number. So that's a nice little shortcut. Um, we'll save that in the drafts and uh, head back to the dialer. Uh, we've also got quick access to contacts from here and uh, phone settings such as vibrate mode and so on. Go back out to the home screen. The main menu is uh, also uh, separated by three screens. Uh, we've got a grid with 12 icons and uh, we can um, scroll around and you can see these little uh, plus symbols. That means users are free to add uh, more applications to each of these screens and customize them a little bit, move them around and so on. 
In terms of features, the Gravity T has, uh, of course, uh, mobile web, has uh, T-Mobile's social buzz networking application, which kind of uh, aggregates uh, Facebook, MySpace, and Twitter status updates. We've got a camera, uh, photo application, uh, a nice little YouTube player. Uh, Google Maps pre-installed, which is always nice uh, for some navigation. And of course, the basics such as instant messaging, email, and so on. Uh, there's also an exchange email client for uh, people who happen to need the um, Gravity T for work email. Um, the messaging application, which we've already seen a little bit of, is uh, is pretty straightforward. You know, creating a message is uh, is pretty simple. Um, just follow the steps, and uh, you can easily insert images, sounds, uh, videos, whether it's a new video picture or sound or something that you already recorded. And um, email is pretty much the same. Uh, of course, it offers visual voicemail, uh, and you can see just everything piled into the folder here. And we'll go back to the main menu. Um, the web browser is... Uh, fairly anemic. It's not uh, the most robust browser I've ever seen, um, but it gets the job done, uh, and it, it'll look familiar to any T-Mobile subs subscriber. Uh, it's going to take us to the web to go homepage here in a second, and a um, little bit slow because coverage is a little spotty in my basement, but uh, you can see um, the web to go homepage has uh, fast finger links to a uh, number of different services. You know, you've got uh, download store, Yahoo Mail, Facebook, What's New, My Account, and of course you can go to more sites. And of course if you want to go out onto the open web you can do that too. Uh, there's a music player here but uh, without the stereo headphone jack it's a little bit of a, a hassle to use. And um, of course you can upload pictures online and save content up there and, and also use Telenav for directions if you don't like Google Maps. And uh, Telenav uh, carries a monthly fee but offers um, voice guided turn by turn directions. So that is a uh, quick and dirty look at the Samsung Gravity T, a new TouchWiz based device for the T Mobile network.